Hey, my sweets, do you remember um, from yesterday what our new super kid's name is? Here he is. Do you remember his name? S. Uh, and we don't know the letter L, but L says L. So if you don't remember, you can sound it out. S. Uh, L. S. L. Sal, you got it. Do you remember what Sal likes to do? Sal loves to play sports, and they both start with the letter S, don't they? Today, my loves, for our learning target, we will be able to tell pictures that begin, that means start, with S, the S sound, S, and write uppercase S. So we're going to do those two things. You're going to tell me pictures that start with the letter S sound, pictures that start with S, S, and our learning target is we're going to learn how to write uppercase S. So my loves, what you need to do, we'll check back to make sure we actually did our target. So I'm going to push that up. What you need to do is grab your book and your pencil. That's all you need. Your book and your pencil. You're going to open up to page two. So yesterday you did page one, circling with me. You're going to open up to pages two and three, these big two pages, okay? You're going to open up to these two. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a lot of fun today finding pictures that begin with the letter S sound, like our learning target says, and we're going to draw a line to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scooch this over, and I'm going to scooch you even closer so that you can see my book more clearly. You don't really need to see me so much for this one, but you need to see my book. All right, so you see all of these uppercase S's there on the side. So what you're gonna do is you are going to find a picture in here that starts with the letter S sound of S, and then you are gonna draw a line to that picture. So we're gonna do the left page first. So one of the pictures that I see right away that starts with the letter sound of S is right here, this little gray S -S squirrel. So let me scooch you even closer so that you just have a really good view of my book. There we go, here's the squirrel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil, you're gonna start at this top S, and you are going to draw a line to the squirrel in the tree. And then park your pencil. You can't see me, I want you to see um, the screen. So park your pencil, where else do you see something on this page? That starts with the letter S, we're not looking over here yet. These S's are for this page. Where do you see something else over here that starts with the letter S? I'm going to give you time to think about it and look. What do you see? Well, I see our new super kid on this side. I see Sal right here. So why don't you take your pencil. You're going to start at the next S because we already did this one. You're going to put your pencil on the second S, and you're going to draw a line to Sal. S, s, Sal, s, s, squirrel. Park your pencil. All right, what else do you see that starts with the letter S on this page? I see a, what's this? A s, s, sailboat. So take your pencil, go to the third S, first, second, third. Draw a line to the sailboat. Park your pencil. S squirrel, s sail, s sailboat. What else do you see? I see Cass is on a what? Yeah, skateboard. So touch this S, the fourth one, first, second, third, fourth. Draw a line to the red skateboard. Look at, we're using math too and reading. Park your pencil. Now I see this lady up here with the broom. What is she doing? What is that called when you use a broom? Yeah, you are sweeping, s -s sweeping. So you're gonna touch the first, second, third, fourth, fifth S. And you're going to go up to the lady sweeping, using a broom to sweep. Park your pencil. One more on this side. I want you to look here in the window. What is that white bird? It is not a goose. It is not a duck. They're beautiful. They're white. They're big. They are just gorgeous. Do you know what the name of that bird is? 
that's a swan say swan you have one s left here on the left so you're going to put your pencil on that s and go all the way up to the white bird in the window the swan awesome park your pencil now the left page is done so now we're going to do the right page you're doing great now we're going to do this page over here on the right where do you see something that starts with the sound of s I see a lot of things right here already at the top. What are some things you see at the top? Do you know what this man is here where he's saluting and he's got on those white clothes and that necktie? He is, he works on ships. He's a sailor, say s -s sailor. Yeah, so you're going to take your pencil from this top S and draw it straight over to the sailor. He's also saluting, which is an S word. Sailor saluting. Park your pencil. What else do you see that starts with the sound of S? What are these green and what's this yellow thing? What are those called? Those are signs. S signs. So I'm going to draw it to the yellow dead end sign. So take your pencil. First, go to the second S, draw it to the dead end, sign, s sign, s sailor. Park your pencil. Where else do you see a letter S word? I see two children right here. What are they doing? Are those things on their feet. Yeah, they're skating, s s skating. You're going to touch the third S, first, second, third. You're going to draw a line over. I'm just going to touch the one yellow skate so I don't have a thousand lines and making my paper messy. Park your pencil. Three left. Where else do you see something that starts with the sound S? What does this man have in his hands? What is that? That's a giant sandwich. So take your pencil. You're going to go to the fourth S. First, second, third, fourth. You draw a line to the sandwich. What else starts with S? S, S, S? What's that on his shirt? And that's a smiley face. Say smiley face. Good. So you're going to go from this S to the smiley face on his shirt. Cute. And last one. We have one last S. Look at right next to it. What do you see in there? We just learned that about building Muffin's doghouse. What is that? If you watch the Super Smart. That silver tool right there is a s -s saw. So you're from the last S, the sixth S. Draw a line to the saw. We use that to cut wood. Awesome job, my loves. All right, what you're going to do now is park your pencil. You are going to turn to page four. All right, I'm going to get back in the picture so you can see my lovely face. Just kidding. Okay, there we go. So we told pictures that started with the letter S in, and we drew a line to them, right? We did that part of our learning target. This is going to help us write uppercase S, the last part of our learning target. So I want you to look here. What is Sal doing here? On page four, what do you see him doing? What is he doing in the top left? He's skateboarding. Do you see that line he has behind him? We're going to trace that with our pencil. So just watch me first. Leave your pencil down. Park your pencil. Watch me. I'm going to start up here at the top. I'm going to go to this side so you can see what my hand is doing. You're going to stay in those little lines and trace them down. It looks like he's going kind of crazy, doesn't it? I want you to trace that with your pencil. Do that for me, please. Pick up your pencil and go. When you're done, park your pencil. So he's skateboarding. S -s -s skateboard. Park your pencil and slide to the right. What's he doing there? Do you remember what those two long skinny things are that go on your feet when you go in the snow? Snow is another S word. 
Yeah, he's skiing. S -s -s skiing. You're going to take your pencil. You're going to trace where he has skied that letter S shape, all right? So you don't have to wait for me. You can do it with me. Keep your pencil in those lines. You're tracing slowly. Slowly. Another S word because you're going to have to do it over here. What's he doing here? We didn't have that in any of the other pictures. He's not swimming. Do you know what the thing is? It looks like a skateboard, but no wheels, and you use it in the water. He's surfing. That's a surfboard. So I want you to start up here on the wave. Do you see this corner of the wave? You're going to start up there and trace where he has surfed down that wave. Now this should be pretty easy for us because I have taught you since the first day of school to make your eights, your number eights, make an S and go back home. That's why I told you not to make snowmen. Mrs. Birch has a reason for her madness. So this should be really easy when we get over here. You should be able to do it if you make your eights the way I've told you to. Hmm. My loves, last picture down here. What is he doing? I love doing this. Mr. Birch doesn't like it, but he goes with me anyway. He's ice skating. He's skating, yeah. What you're going to do is trace his path with your marker, not with your marker, with your pencil, where he has skated on the ice. So he is skating, ice skating. This one's a little bit tricky. It's very skinny, so keep your pencil there and be very careful. When you're done, park your pencil, please. We're going to do the rest of our learning target, learning how to write uppercase S. You are not doing anything yet. You're going to watch me. I'm going to take this down. And I'm going to put up my ice cream paper. My loves, writing the letter S is very, very easy if you have been making um, your number eights correctly. What you're going to do is you're going to start at the chocolate chip. You have nothing in your hands. You're just watching me right now. Please do not start tracing. Do not start working ahead because then your letter, your letter S's are going to be messed up because you weren't following along. You are going to start at the chocolate chip. You are going to move your pencil up to touch strawberry. You're going to curve to the front. And then you're going to curve down to the back to chocolate. That's it. You're going to go up, lick strawberry, curve to the front to vanilla, curve around to the back to chocolate. Look, at I'm not going all the way up, and I fill that whole space, okay? So you're going to go up to strawberry, come forward to vanilla, go back to chocolate. Okay, watch me. Thumbs up or thumbs down? How did I do? Yeah, that's a thumb, thumbs down. I missed two things. What did I miss? Yeah, I did not go all the way up to strawberry, did I? No. And I was so close, but I didn't touch chocolate. Do you see that? Okay. So I got to make sure I do that. Okay, here I go. I did it. Looks great. Thumbs down. No, why? What did I do? Oh, I went above strawberry. Okay, yeah, I can't do that, can I? Okay, here we go. No, I didn't touch chocolate, right? My loves, you have to make sure you go up to strawberry, curve forward to vanilla, curve back to chocolate. This is not okay either. Where you're like, oh, oh, I'm supposed to touch chocolate. Oh, no. Mm -mm. That's yucky. If you do things like this, please erase them. It's okay to erase. I like when I see that on your paper if you need to. I'd much rather have you erase and do it again than leave it sloppy. Okay, go up to strawberry, curve forward to vanilla, curve back to chocolate. My sweets, what you are going to do is you are going to trace every single blue letter S. You are going to trace all of these because that's going to help your brain know how to make them. 
So do not make your own until you have carefully traced these. And don't sloppily do it because then you will write it sloppy. How you practice is how you will do it. So practice neatly because then you will write it neatly. You're going to do all of the blue and then you're going to make your own. Okay, my sweets, when you're all done, please ask your grown-up to upload. There's a lot. Pages 2, pages 3, pages 4, and page 5. Four pages, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to the red reading folder. I love you. No reading tomorrow because it's Friday. Bye.